Hey YouTube, it's Penny. I wanted to bring you an update on the Safair. Um, I'm happy to report that we've finally successfully switched over to PayPal and um, are back up and running. And you know, it shouldn't surprise us that we had difficulty in launching the website and you know, kicking off the publication of getting this book out to the world um, because we have an enemy. <laughs> he does not want this book, this word going forth. Um, so he's done what he can to try to thwart us, but the gates of Hades shall not prevail against us. So, um, so feel free to visit the website, sphere.net, and uh, place your order with confidence now, and uh, I'll get it shipped out to you as soon as possible. Uh, I wanted to, several people have asked about the Aleph Tov that um, is on the front of this affair and on the spine. And so I wanted to bring you a little bit more information about that um, to help you understand why it was so significant to us that we not only included it in the, this affair, but put it on the front of the book. Um, so in Hebrew, um, there's this, you know, this word that has escaped translation in all other English texts, and it's the word E-T-H, et, et, I think is how you say it, um, but it's spelled Aleph Tav which, you know, we would say A-T. The Aleph in Hebrew, uh, each, each word has like a, a deeper, excuse me, each letter of the Hebrew alphabet has a deeper meaning. And the Aleph is the ox head um, in the Paleo-Hebrew, and it's the symbol of strength and is often construed as the crown of leadership or the head of the house. And the Tav, uh, is a like a cross and it means the mark so uh, thus the Aleph Tav signifies by the authority of the cross um, so which is just fascinating um, so this combination stands alone 606 times in the Hebrew Old Testament or the Tanakh um, and uh, it's also, we thought it was only in the Old Testament, but when we were in Israel this last year, uh, we were at the Church of St. John uh, the Baptist in Ein Karam, which is a suburb of Jerusalem. And there are these large stone, I think, um, plaques that go around the courtyard there. And they all have the same passage from Matthew in them, but each one of them is in a different language. So as uh, Steve and Brad, the two primary gentlemen who've been working on this affair for the last four years, were standing in front of the Hebrew um, plaque, they discovered the Aleph Tav in this passage from Matthew, <laughs> New Testament. Correction, it's not from Matthew, it's from Luke. Uh, it's actually, it's Zechariah's song. So he was the father of John the Baptist. And so as I was going back and editing this, I was looking at the pictures of the passage and recognized that um, it wasn't for Matthew, it's uh, Luke chapter one. So starting, I think, in verse uh, 68. So that's when they said, okay, we gotta figure this out. and we're able to go to the Greek Texas Receptus and find it 261 times in the New Testament. So all of that has been um, included in this affair. So, so let me give you a couple examples. So Genesis 1.1 says, In the beginning Elohim, Aleph Tav, created the heaven and Aleph Tav, the earth. So what that is saying is that in the very first verse of the first book of the Tanakh, um, Elohim, by the authority of the cross, created the heaven and, by the authority of the cross, the earth. I mean, this is fascinating. I'm, the Messiah is basically spoken of from the very first verse in the scriptures. John 1.1, 1, 1, or Yukonan 1.1, 1, 1, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with Aleph Tav, Elohim, and the Word was Elohim. And then Revelation 1.8 says, I am Aleph Tav, the beginning 
and the ending says Yahuwah Elohim, which is and which was and which is to come, Al Shaddai. So uh, it's interesting to read the scriptures with the Aleph Tav in there and discover, you know, where it's been included. And a lot of times it's actually hyphenated with another word. So anyway, I wanted to bring you a little bit more about that for, especially for those of you who've been curious, but what are those Hebrew letters on the front of this affair? So anyway, appreciate all of you who have struggled to place your order and have either been successful with some difficulty or who have not been successful. Please try again. Um, we really want to get this um, publication into your hands. So thank you all. Baruch Atah Adonai Elohim Melech Ka'olam. Blessed are you, our Lord God, King of the Universe.